Welcome to Greenbone's tutorial and informational video series. These videos are meant to provide new users with easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions for installing and using the Greenbone Vulnerability Manager and Greenbone's more advanced configuration settings and features. This video, Demystifying Greenbone, is meant to clarify many of the terms and concepts that surround Greenbone and provide an overview of Greenbone's software architecture. Hopefully this video can serve as a reliable source of information for new users who are adopting Greenbone as their day-to-day -day vulnerability manager or who want to learn more about Greenbone's architecture and open source code. Before we begin, let's just point out that you can know our company and the vulnerability scanning product as Greenbone. It really doesn't need to be more complicated than that. As we start to take a more in-depth look at Greenbone architecture, we should identify a couple of important factors that contribute to the complexity of Greenbone's architecture and terminology. In a nutshell, Greenbone is an open source vulnerability manager with a rich history. Contributors, developers, and those who maintain the source code need to have a common vocabulary for understanding about the software package itself and its various components. A close inspection of any software's architecture will reveal a similar set of complex terms. If you just buy a piece of software from an app store, you don't need to use those complex terms because the application will simply install and run automatically. And the same is true for Greenbone when installing it from Linux repositories. However, when you consider an open source software package's source code is publicly shared so that anyone can modify and contribute, having a standardized set of terms becomes a requirement for communicating effectively. So that's the first reason you'll see many complex terms surrounding the Greenbone product. Secondly, Greenbone's vulnerability manager has a long and nuanced history. In 2005, the developers of the vulnerability scanner Nessus decided to change the license from an open source license to suit a more proprietary closed source business model. Several forks of Nessus emerged, but only one fork named OpenVAS gained enough community support to continue. OpenVAS was registered by the Software in the Public Interest, Inc. to hold and protect the domain openvas.org. In late 2008, two companies that had been contributing to the Nessus open source package, Intivation and DN Systems, formed the company Greenbone to maintain and drive the development of the OpenVAS project. Today, that OpenVAS vulnerability scanning product is simply known as Greenbone. However, some older textbooks and online resources still refer to the product as OpenVAS. The Greenbone Community Edition product category refers to Greenbone's open source application framework for vulnerability scanning and vulnerability management. The Greenbone Community Edition is installed via the Greenbone community Docker containers, can be compiled from source code, and has been adopted by external third parties such as specific Linux distributions. All versions of the Greenbone Community Edition use the Greenbone Community Vulnerability Feeds. The Greenbone Community Edition was originally started as a project named OpenVAS and is now primarily developed and forwarded by Greenbone as part of the commercial Greenbone Enterprise product line. Greenbone Enterprise is Greenbone's product line for on-premises enterprise vulnerability management. The product line consists of virtual or hardware-based Greenbone Enterprise appliances that run with the Greenbone Operating System, the Greenbone Vulnerability Management System, GVM, a Linux System D framework, and the Greenbone Enterprise feeds. The Greenbone Enterprise product line has several tiers of its physical and virtual appliances and licensing options, depending on the size and complexity of the client organization's network. Greenbone produces and maintains two feeds, the Greenbone Enterprise feed and the Greenbone Community feed. They deliver the tests for detecting existing vulnerabilities and information about their threat potential. So how do the Greenbone Community and Enterprise feeds compare? The base of both feeds is identical. All content in the community feed can also be found in the enterprise feed. 
However, the enterprise feed extends the community feed with more vulnerability tests and compliance policies. The Greenbone Operating System, or GOS, is a unique Linux distribution for Greenbone Enterprise dedicated physical appliances and Greenbone virtual appliances. However, GOS is not required or recommended for running the Greenbone Community Edition in its various forms, such as Docker containers, Linux repositories, or compiled from source code. These Greenbone Community Edition forms all provide access to the Greenbone Vulnerability Manager and allow scheduling and executing scans, filtering and exporting reports, and all the features of the Greenbone Vulnerability Management. Greenbone is a Linux-based service. Its core services only work in a Linux environment. However, you don't technically need to run a dedicated Linux environment to use Greenbone. This is because the Greenbone Community Edition is also available as Docker containers, which package the application with the Linux environment to run on any OS environment that supports Docker. And as Greenbone Enterprise Trial Virtual Machines can be run from any operating system using the VM Workstation Player or Workstation Pro and Oracle VirtualBox hypervisors. However, the Greenbone Linux distribution packages and the Greenbone source code must run in a Linux environment. Greenbone Vulnerability Manager is a set of orchestrated components that operate together to fill various duties. The core, most central of these duties, is done by a set of daemons. A daemon is a background process that operates on its own. The end user doesn't see or normally interact with daemons when using the application. As the core of Greenbone's orchestrated operation, the daemons can essentially be viewed as the glue that allows other endpoints such as the scanning engine, the web user interface, and the API to communicate tasks and information between each other. These daemons include GVMD and OSPD OpenBAS. GVMD is an abbreviation for the Greenbone Vulnerability Manager daemon. GVMD allows the various components to communicate with each other. OSPD OpenBAS is an Open Scanner Protocol, or OSP, scanner daemon that manages the OpenVAS executable and relays scan results to the central management daemon GVMD. Another set of processes facilitate the human user or programmatic automated API interaction with the GVMD central daemon. The process used for the interaction are the Greenbone Security Assistant, GSA, and the Greenbone Management Protocol, GMP. The Greenbone Security Assistant is the web interface that users can access to control scans, access vulnerability information, and conduct the complete vulnerability management operation that Greenbone is capable of. GSA connects to GVMD via the web server Greenbone Security Assistant daemon, GSAD, to provide a full-featured web application for vulnerability management. The communication between the front end and the back end happens via the Greenbone Management Protocol, GMP, which can also be used directly with custom tools such as the open source Python scripts, GVM tools. GMP is an XML-based communication protocol provided by GVMD. It provides an API to create, read, update, and delete scans and vulnerability information. Greenbone has two scanning engines that conduct the actual scanning operations, that is, executing vulnerability tests by sending packets to the configured target or targets according to the configuration of the scanning task. The two main scanning engines are the OpenVAS scanning engine and the Notice scanning engine. OpenVAS Scanner is a full-featured scan engine that executes vulnerability tests against target systems using the daily updated and comprehensive feeds, either the Greenbone Enterprise feed for commercial enterprise clients or the free Greenbone community feed. The Notice Scanner is a new scanning engine that offers better performance due to less system resource consumption and thus faster scanning. The Notice Scanner replaces the logic of NASL-based local security checks, LSCs, and compares installed software on a host against a list of known vulnerable software applications and packages 
instead of running a vulnerability test for each local security check. Another essential component of GreenBone are the vulnerability data feeds. These feeds synchronize each local instance of GreenBone with the core set of vulnerability tests, or VTs, as well as other feeds for SCAP and CERT data, and the feeds that update certain components of GreenBone, such as the report format feed. Since the enterprise and community vulnerability feeds are constantly being updated with new vulnerability tests, it's important to ensure that these feeds are regularly synchronized to update your local GreenBone database with the most recent vulnerability data. So there you have it. GreenBone consists of a distributed service architecture that uses Linux system D services to facilitate communication between a core set of functional components. These functional components include the GSA user interface and GMP XML based API for configuring and controlling the application, and the OpenVAS and Notice scanning engines that conduct vulnerability tests against the target, and the feeds that relay new vulnerability tests, SCAP, and CERT data into the PostgreSQL database where all the data is stored. Feel free to keep it simple. It's perfectly fine to use the term GreenBone to refer to the vulnerability manager or the company that produces it. From there, it's important to note that GreenBone is an open source vulnerability manager with a rich history. If you're interested in compiling GreenBone from source code, or just want a better understanding of GreenBone's architecture and design, you should start off by understanding the difference between the GreenBone community and enterprise product lines, and also that while GreenBone requires a Linux environment to run, it can also be packaged to run on other OS environments and is available as pre-built Docker containers and virtual machines for that purpose. Finally, GreenBone's internals are a distributed service architecture with daemon components that relay communication between the control user interface and API and the scanning engines, feeds, and database. If you have any questions about GreenBone, feel free to visit the community portal and learn more from our many tutorial and informational posts Check out the GreenBone user manual for more advanced configuration and usage of GreenBone, and drop us a line with your questions or concerns. <laughs> <laughs>